Assalamu alaikum friends. I hope you all are well and enjoying learning with language and linguistics. Today we are going to talk about morphology. This one is the second lecture. So let's move to our first slide. In introduction to morphology, we are going to talk about morpheme and its type. Morpheme is a minimal unit of meaning or grammatical function as we have discussed in our previous lecture. There are two types of morphemes, free and bound morpheme. Morpheme that can stand by themselves as single word are called free morpheme. For example, new and tour. They both can stand alone and they can provide meaning without adding any kind of morpheme. So they are called free morpheme. Free morphemes can generally be identified as the set of separate English words such as basic nouns, verbs, adjective and adverbs. So noun, verb, adjective and adverbs are also called free morpheme. When they are used with bound morpheme, the free morpheme, when used with a bound morpheme, the basic word form are technically known as stems, as we have discussed in our previous lecture. For example, carelessness in this word, we have care, free morpheme, less and ness. Both are affixes and they are attached with this word. So, care is the stem word in the complete word. Morpheme that cannot normally stand alone and are typically attached to another form. For example, re, ist, ed, and s. These forms are described as affixes. So, all affixes. Affixes are prefixes and suffixes. In English are born morpheme. Similarly, receive, reduce and repeat are also described as bond stem and they are born morpheme. Because if we separate receive with IV, E and reduce and repeat, we cannot get any meaning. So they are born morpheme or bond stem in morphology. In this lecture, we are talking about the types of morpheme. In last slide, we have discussed free and bone morpheme. But now, we are going to talk about lexical and functional category of morpheme. Free morphemes fall into two categories. Just keep this in your mind that lexical and functional morphemes are free morpheme. They are not the bond one. So first category is the set of ordinary nouns, for example, girls, house, verbs like break, sit, adjectives like long, sad, and adverbs like never, quickly. These words carry the content of the message. So they are the lexical morpheme. These free morphemes are called lexical morpheme. New lexical morpheme can be easily added to the language. So they are treated as an open class of word because they are ready to accept the bond morpheme. Second type of free morphemes are called functional morphemes. Examples are articles, a, the, conjunction, n, because, preposition, on, near, and pronouns, it, or me. New functional morpheme cannot be added to the language. So they are described as closed class of words because we are not able to introduce new form of the functional morpheme. So they are the closed class of the words in morphology and in the type of morphemes. In the last slide, we have talked about the category of free morpheme. But now we are going to discuss the categories of bond morphemes.
and in this category we have derivational morpheme this one is the first category the set of affixes that make up the category of bond morpheme can also be divided into two types first type is called derivation morphemes using the bond morphemes or bond forms to make new words or to make words of a different grammatical category from the stem is called derivational morpheme for example the addition of the derivational morpheme meant change the verb encourage to the noun encouragement the noun class can become the verb classify by the addition of the derivational morpheme ify derivational morphemes can be suffixes like ment and ify and also prefixes such as re pre x miss co and un in the type of bond morpheme the second category is inflectional morphemes second set of bond morpheme is inflectional morpheme or inflections these are not used to produce new words in the language rather indicate the grammatical function of a word inflectional morphemes are used to show if a word is plural or singular past tense or not and if it is a comparative or possessive form english has only eight inflectional morphemes and they are all suffixes these suffixes we are going to discuss in the next slide there are eight inflectional morphemes in english language and all are suffixes so we can learn these suffixes by reading this poem Jim's two sisters are really different. One likes to have fun and is always laughing. The other enjoyed school as a child and has always been very serious. One is the loudest person in the house and the other is quieter than a mouse. In this poem the red one are the inflectional morphemes. In the first sentence both inflections are attached to nouns making possessive and plural in Jim's and sisters four inflections are attached to verbs third person singular and present tense ing present participle ed with past tense and n past participle in the form of been two inflection attach two adjectives are to make it comparative and est to make it superlative degree in the form of loudest and quieter there is some variation in the form of these inflectional morpheme for example the possessive sometimes appears as a plural form by adding s those boys bags and the past participle is often ed they have talked already difference between derivational and inflectional morpheme inflectional morphemes never change the category of a word for example both old and older are adjective the r inflection here simply creates a different version of the adjective however derivational morphemes can change the grammatical category of a word the verb teach become the noun teacher if add the derivational morpheme r in english language so the suffix r in modern english can be an inflectional morpheme as part of an adjective and also a distinct derivational morpheme as part of a noun just because they look the same or doesn't mean they do the same kind of work whenever there is a derivational suffix and inflectional suffix used together they always appear in order 
and their order is like first the derivational r is attached to teach then the inflectional s is added to produce teacher teachers the teachers wildness shocked the girls parents this sentence we are going to analyze in our next slide let's discuss this sentence to know how many morphemes are used in this sentence the teachers wildness shocked the girls parents the functional morpheme teach lexical r derivational s inflectional and wild lexical ness derivational shock lexical add inflectional the functional girl lexical s inflectional parent lexical and s inflectional let's summarize the lecture before ending it in this lecture we have talked about morphemes and their types morpheme is a minimal unit of meaning or grammatical function we have two major categories of morpheme first one is the free and second one is the bond morpheme morphemes that can stand alone to produce their meaning and the words are used as content words to provide exact meanings they are free morphemes and in the free morphemes we have verbs adjective adverbs and basic nouns when they are used with bond morpheme the basic word forms are technically known as stem however morpheme that cannot normally stand alone and are typically attached to another forms they are called bond morpheme and bond morphemes are re est ed and s they are described as affixes bond morphemes are the combination of prefixes and affixes second category of morpheme is lexical and functional morpheme they are the categories of free morpheme and first category is the set of ordinary nouns verbs adjectives and adverbs these words carry the content of the message these free forms are called lexical morphemes and also an open class of words second type of free morpheme are called functional morphemes like articles conjunction preposition and pronoun but this category is called closed class of words and in free after discussing the free morpheme we are going to talk about the category of bond morpheme in bond morpheme we have inflectional morpheme and derivational morpheme derivational morphemes are the set of affixes that make up the category of bond morpheme and using the bond form to make new words or to make words of different grammatical categories are the category of derivational morpheme for example the addition of derivational morpheme meant change the verb encourage to the noun encourage meant and teach into teacher next class of bond morpheme is inflectional morpheme and they are the set of bond morphemes and they are not used to produce new words in the language rather they indicate the grammatical category or function of a word inflectional morphemes are used to show if a word is plural or singular past tense or not or if it is comparative or possessive in inflectional morphemes we have eight morphemes in english language 
they are s first one is possessive second plural s with the verb like ing ed n est and ter so difference between derivational and inflectional morphemes is that inflectional morphemes never change the grammatical category of a word for example both old and older are adjectives but derivational morphemes can change the grammatical category of a word and the verb teach becomes known as teacher i hope you enjoy the lecture please like share and subscribe this channel and the pdf file is also available in this slide in the description section you can download and enjoy learning with language and linguistics thank you